Hi everyone. Well, today's video we're going to be repairing this uh, lawnmower that I just recently got from one of the family members that want me to fix it and give it back to him. So this is an oldie, a Tecumseh motor, and it's a legend brand, I would assume. All right, so uh, they told me that it has been running for five years. And I kind of believe it, the way it looks. So I right away changed the oil because when I looked at the oil, there was nothing in there. Like very little. And black as sin. So I just used just regular four-cycle engine oil. Topped up. I think it should be okay. I'll just uh, have to start and see. So that's the engine info on it. It is a TVS90 model number. Uh, no other information that you can see. Anyway, so since this has been running in five years, I could probably assume that the carburetor it is probably really dirty uh, with Tecumseh models that is a definite issue yeah you can see the muffler here clean air actually it looks pretty nice it looks pretty clean but I'll just take it out to be sure so let's go do that Alright, gotta see the condition on this one. Oh, I can probably tell it's gonna be gunky. Holy hell, does that smell terrible? Oh my god, look how dirty it is. This is like five year old gas. Ugh. Well, I'm gonna have to clean that one for sure. So carb cleaner is definitely going to be the tool for this job. All right, so I got my carb cleaner. Now, check the condition of the gaskets. It's a little bit stiff, but I don't think it's too, too bad. All right, so start spraying. So I'm going to be throwing out anyway. Uh, ah, so disgusting. Oh, it will be amazing if this thing runs. So basically what I'm doing now is just cleaning it as much as I can with uh, carb cleaner. making sure that it's pretty clean before I assemble it. There's still some dust particles in there. Any little form of dust, of dust particles is really going to affect how it runs. It's going to use a clean part of the sheet here. Get nice and clean for the customer. And this is m most of the cause of Tecumseh's how come uh, whenever they start and die. They're really easy to fix. And I know a lot of people don't like these Tecumseh motors, but I think they're a really good engine. Personally, I would favor Honda because Hondas are really good engines, but uh, Tecumseh's aren't that bad. Briggs is okay too, but the older ones, I don't pretty much, I don't like the newer ones anyway. Uh, okay, so this is the nut that you would put on your carb, that attaches the carburetor. So if you notice, sorry for my nails, they're kind of dirty. If you notice here, this little hole, and this hole here is that very tiny jet. Now, you have to really clean this up. Because if you don't, 
uh, your machine is not going to run right. It does have compression, it does pull quite nicely. It has spark, but uh, we'll put some gas in just to verify. Primer bulb is working good, so yeah, I think we should be fine. Alright, so just going to, oh, there we go. See? Over here. Ugh. Sorry guys, if my camera can't focus right. Again, it's not focusing right. There we go. You can see right through you. So that means it's pretty clean. Alright, so now just to assemble it. Alright, so it's the next day. I, I decided to wait a little bit to see if uh, it will uh, start. So that right now it's, it's an okay date. It's nice and uh, cool. So uh, this is the first time I'm going to start this up. Remember, I cleaned the carburetor. It was there. It was five-year-old gas in there. It was stale as hell. Not, nothing to the spark plug and top it off with fresh oil. So with the cum seas, you got to pump it like this. Now time for the first test. First start in five years. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you fix a Tecumseh motor. So the very first thing, if your Tecumseh has been sitting for more than two or three years, just check your carburetor. It's probably likely gummed up. That's the only main thing that happens with these motors. And you can see it just started in three poles in five years. Not too shabby. And this is another one that I recently fixed, my 8243AE. Well, if you notice the cold start video when I did it back in made you, you saw that the handle was lopsided well that was because that the old handle bracket as you can see completely broke so I had to put a new one in there and as you can see it's all nice and fresh so that way it's not lopsided anymore looks better as well as I had to put an extra cotter pin where the capstan drive is for this uh, self-propelled system. So now uh, this is my second lawnmower that has a working self-propelled system next to my 10 360 seed that I just used uh, to cut the grass on Thursday as well as also the 10642C. So the only one that's not working for the self-propelled is the 10323. But uh, I'll have to look at it and see if I could try to fix it. But other than that, everything is all good. I hope you enjoy the video guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more vids. Lovely collections of steel blowers. If I had to buy another one, which probably I don't, don't need at this point, it will probably be a BR600.